Hi there. Today we're going to go over five fast and simple ways to organize and collect your ideas within Walling. Now I've already started a wall here. Um, as you can see, we are working on a homepage redesign. So I am going to collect some ideas in this section right here. All right, I've got a handful of ideas down here. Now your bricks can be really be just as simple as a heading and some body copy, um, or you can add some content styles to them to make them a bit more nuanced and detailed in different ways that depict things more clearly outside of just a heading and some body text. For example, we can add a bolded list right here by hitting this icon um, or shift uh, asterisk also does it. Um, and we can add some additional context here or for this illustration brick, we can add an example illustration of the kind of thing that we're looking for. Or we can insert a code block right inside of Walling as well. So as you can see, there's tons of different content styles that you can um, utilize here in Walling just to sort of provide that context and visual clarity really quickly, uh, right where you need it. So now I'm gonna add some um, tags to my bricks to sort of bucket them into different categories of my ideas. So let's do SEO for this one, and then we can color code this to blue. Um, and then let's do design for this one, and we can color code this to purple. And then we can just assign those different tags to our ideas. I'm also gonna color code a couple of these as well, just to help them stand out for my own reference. Now that we've got everything tagged here, we can actually create some section filters to help us um, siphon down to just the bricks that we wanna see in any given moment. So how you do that is you go up here to the section view on the top right of your section. You can hit create new. We're gonna make it a visual view as well and we can call it SEO. And so we'll create the view. And then we can actually pin that up here. And then we can turn a filter on by hitting the little three bars next to the section view. Uh, change our tag to SEO, filter that. And it is only gonna show us SEO. Um, tagged bricks and we can create another one uh, make it also a visual view call it design and we can filter just the design tags the same way filter that and then we can create one more for all of our bricks with no filter you can easily reorder it by just dragging and dropping you can even uh, color code them to match up with your tags which is very aesthetically pleasing. And now that we have everything all organized, we have three different section views, all with different filters or not a filter at all. This will make it super easy for us in the future to switch between different types of ideas that we have just by using these pinned section filter views uh, up at the top here. Now that we've got our ideas down, let's move on to a new section uh, just dedicated to copywriting. I'm actually gonna change the section view to Kanban view for this one, just so we have different columns of types of copywriting notes. So let's do the tagline, the description, and one more for the call to action. So then I'm just gonna jot down some ideas for what the tagline should be. Then I'm gonna do a separate brick just for brand taglines. Now I'm just adding some notes for the description of the home page. Um, I do want to actually customize the width of the column a little bit just to get this all to fit on one line because I think that looks a little bit more nicer and accommodates the width and larger size of a description. And I'm just going to drag and drop and add a file to that real quick. Super easy for future reference. Lastly, I'm going to add some notes but a handful of different call to actions. Some newsletter specific ones. And then lastly, just some notes about call to actions in general, just for myself and the team. Let's round that off with a little bit of color coding. I'm gonna color code this section just to give it a little bit more emphasis. And there you go. We've got a whole section of notes on copywriting in a very short amount of time. Next, we're gonna create a whole new section just dedicated to target audience. And really, I mean, the importance of sections here is really just categorizing all of your notes and your ideas, as opposed to just, you know, grouping them all together in one section, say, throwing all of your target audience ideas into just your ideas section, because, I mean, it's going to make it a lot easier in the long run for you and anyone who you might be working with on this wall uh, to be able to look at different sections very quickly and understand what each of them has within them. So let's start off with our key demographics. 
do a bolded list. Next is some notes upon the psychographics and the mind of our target audience. And lastly, some notes upon the preferred content types of our target audience. And now you see we have four um, bricks here, and I kind of want them all to fit side by side. Thankfully, that's really easy to do. We just go into the customize section option right here, and we can increase the columns to four and adjust our layout to auto. And look at that, it automatically puts our bricks right next to each other because it sees that there are four bricks and four slots available in the top row. Now really the point of this wall is to get everything that we need to do this project all in one place, um, all together, all easily accessible. So next up I wanna add a section just dedicated to files and assets. That way me and the team can grab it whenever, super easy. We're gonna change the um, section view to list because they do display really well in list mode. And as far as adding them goes, it's super easy. All you have to do is just grab your files and then drag and drop them right into walling. And they all upload all together, all at once. And as you can see here, we have kind of some unnecessary columns in the list view. Uh, that's easily changeable as well. Just go into the customized section. We can remove the tags. We can remove the mark complete. We can remove the due date. We can remove the assigned to. And now we just have super minimal, super easy uh, to look at files and assets for our team that they can download just by clicking on it and downloads right there for them. Can of course also color code them in case you want one to stand out more than another. And the last section we are gonna create is some inspiration for ourselves and the team. Same thing as the files. I'm just gonna drag and drop a handful of photo files right into here and it uploads them all and lays them out for me. You can even take this mood board a step further and uh, customize it to add an additional column. And as you can see, it, it doesn't exactly um, change it for you immediately, but if you change it to auto, it will automatically uh, relay out your mood board for you. Make it super easy, super fast to get everything into walling and visually pleasing and easily digestible, just like that. Now that we've got everything out of us and onto walling, we can actually then take on the next step, which is sharing with our team. So you can go to the top here and hit invite people, invite them via email address. Or additionally, you can turn on the shareable link, copy that link and share it with anyone. Then they can view it in a whole separate tab while well, not being able to interact with it exactly, um, but they still can view everything the same way you see it and still at least see what you've got going on, see where you're at, you know. And that is all for me. I hope you found some useful tips from this and just how simple and fast it really is to use walling to collect your ideas. Have a good one.